Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. This week we're in Poplar, North Carolina. It wasn't even on my GPS, but we found it anyway. It's a great little place in the mountains. I have a fabulous car show. Unfortunately, um, it's raining today. I don't know. We're going to see what we can do. There's some wild cars here. It's kind of wet, but nobody seems to mind. I guess I don't care either. Check it out. Low mileage cream puff, only driven to church on Sunday by a little old lady, trust me. You don't see this every day. Clark, how you doing, man? Good to meet you, Dennis. Man, this is a nice show, and it's not raining right now. It was raining earlier. It's that's, not raining right now. That's right, and we look for a good show today. Good show, power of positive thinking. Yes, sir. <laughs> the rain's going to quit, and we're going to have a good day. Well, I tell you, rain or shine, there's a heck of a lot of cars here. Yes, yes, we've had a good turnout today. And uh, and I'm telling you, man, this is, I, and I say this in the fondest possible way, but this is the middle of nowhere, man. That's right. Poplar, North Carolina wasn't even on my GPS. Oh, gosh. Maybe here in a year or two it will be. <laughs> it, was, it is now on the map. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you guys been doing the show, what, five years? Yes, sir. And just for fun, right? Right, right. And keep it growing and uh, more fans come and uh, we can go to a car show uh, 150 miles away and people know who we are when we, we roll in. That's amazing. Well, you know, and I'll tell you, you do have quite a reputation because everybody I talk to you know, just raves about your club, the Carolina Push Rods. They're the nicest folks I ever saw. They're just, everybody's so nice here. <laughs> and I love the accent, too. All right. <laughs> but and you guys, you, you know, you, you do a good show and you really treat the people right. Everything's free, right? Yes, everything's free other than the food, their vendors, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. But no admission, but no, no trophies. No admission, no parking, no trophies. And uh, we just try to please the spectators and the people that bring in the cars. Yeah. Well, and it's, you know, and, and I love the setting because, I mean, it's just this beautiful mountain setting. And, and uh, you are, you know, you're, you're bounded. You can only grow so big because you got these big mountains kind of bounded. Right, right. And the stream running through. Oh, it's, 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 like I say, it's kind of off the beaten path. And I think that's <laughs> what a lot of people like. You know, they're used to streets and red lights and traffic. Well, you, yeah. you don't have any of those. And we don't have none of that. It's just. <laughs> well, you but, have some really interesting stuff here. Some very, some, some pretty odd stuff, but also some very, like, like this car. Right. I mean, this is what the, this was the, First ever national champion funny car in 1974. You yes, got it sir. here. Yes, sir. And I guess they're going to fire this thing up. 4,000 horsepower, they're going to fire this thing yes, up in a while, right? Yes, sir. Here in just a few minutes. They're going to fire <laughs> up for the people. Let's go get a seat for that. All right. <laughs> This is a, an interesting piece. Uh, piece of what? <laughs> Let's just leave it in peace. But I love this baby. It's a it's a '51 Chev, right? Yep. And it's the flagship for the Hillbilly Surf Shop. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've done all sorts of a lot of these. Uh, what I would call North Carolina, Tennessee touches. Uh, I like your eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee plates. And the best looking thing in there is the is the engine. What a 350 Chev? Right. 350 yeah. automatic. So and that's, I mean, that looks way too nice for this car. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta rough that thing well, up. That's the first thing I done under the hood was clean that up. I, you know, it'd be a rat rod, but you gotta have your priorities, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And your uh, Hicks uh, filter there, corn yep. cob, uh -huh. that, that looks. Uh, before Wicks. <laughs> But it's nice, and uh, is this your hillbilly surfer? Mm -hmm. It is absolutely wild. But what a, what a, you know, a stately interior, I must say. Um, you know, your seats with the uh, with the gunny sacks, the burlap, I like that. Um, and you and you know, this was like ahead of its time. You got cup holders, right? One holding a, a classic Mountain Dew, and the other one's what hillbilly, hillbilly brew. Hillbilly brew. That's I've never seen I've that never before. Heard of that. Yeah. Tilt column though. Yeah. Man, and then your back seat is. It's a porch glider. Oh, porch glider, yep. very nice. And that would be the arms off the porch glider, right? Right, yeah. But you know, your, your surfboards are nice and you got, uh, you know, the, the, the diamond plate fin on them. That's deluxe. Deluxe. They're deluxe. <laughs> deluxe. <laughs> and all your lures and tags, that's a, that's a- Cattle. Cattle tag. Cattle, cattle tag, yeah. tag. Uh-huh, uh-huh. BR-51. Yep. It rings a bell. 51. And, but back here, man, I mean, this is kind of out back here. You got the still going. Right. Yeah, hillbilly nitrous. <laughs> You're brewing your own, right? right? That's it. That's a cheap way to brew your own right. nitrous. I, I run out of gas, I have something to get me going. <laughs> I 
like your trim too. I mean, that's that, off a of rototiller. Rototiller. Uh, <laughs> Roto hoe. But that's the that's uh, mimicking the trim that was originally on it. Exactly. Sort of, yeah, yeah. would have had the deluxe. So would have said deluxe. So right. the, and you got uh, late. You don't have lake pipes. There are creek pipes. Creek creek pipes. Yeah. Creek <laughs> creek pipes. Creek, creek pipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Fifty one Chev Hillbilly Surf Shop flagship. Yep. Beauty man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that would be great. So you, you, built, the, you built everything here. The I did, thing. yeah. I've, What's uh, underneath? It's uh, got square tubing in there, and then it's got a layer of uh, wood and then the copper. The copper's so soft that I put a layer of wood in it so that it would not push uh -huh. in and dent in just with a simple bump of a bicycle or something. And then speaking of bicycle, uh -huh. that, that's what you got back here, I right? do. You know, uh, someone told me if you had a Chevrolet motor, you better have a spare on the back. <laughs> so I have myself a spare, you know, to uh, just in case. Your own high wheel bike. I mean, this is just unbelievable. And it looks fantastic on the outside. Well, it looks, it God. looks, it looks period on the outside. But the inside is to die for. I, I got it. I got to look at this man. Cause man, this, it, this is like a Victorian mobile home. <laughs> uh, you know, George Vanderbilt should have had it for the Biltmore estate. I, I think guess. that would have been uh, brass bed, a bunk exactly, brass bed. Exactly. Yes. You know, you've got your period mirror there, trimmed out and everything. Bathtub. Bathtub. You know, Saturday <laughs> night you got to have a bath even when you're camping. All the so. crochet and, and the you know the, the the velour beautiful oak table and and period chairs. I mean, this is it's incredible. It's just home away from home. It is. Know? Well, it's you really kind of your wife's toy, isn't it? Well, uh, yes, she'll go anywhere I want to go. You know, as long as we take this. <laughs> that's a know? smart move on your <laughs> well, part. Well, <laughs> I, I think that's that's well, I, Again, man, this this thing is so incredible. The workmanship on it is great. Detail attention to detail, but your eye for design and your creativity in this. I just, I love this thing. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> you I'm, I'm glad you're impressed. You've made my day with this <laughs> 27 you. International Copper Motor Coach. Exactly. You're my hero. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> That's beautiful. Happy motoring. Well, Gary, this is a bright car. It's kind of overcast day. This is a perfect car for today. <laughs> sure is, sure is. This is a what? It's a 51 Chevy Deluxe, right? That's correct. Well, you know, you've obviously lowered it down. Is it on air or? No, no, just no. Static it's just, drop. It's, yeah, that, right. That's where she rides, That's huh? where she rides, yeah. Man, you got the low profile tires and stuff. Yeah, that's gotta yeah. be kind of. Yes, it is. It's, it's a, it's, it, you can feel the road. You can feel, yeah, yeah you, you definitely are, feel the you road. You are one with the road. <laughs> that's exactly right. But I tell you, the other thing I love, I love all the, the hand wood graining. Out yes. Here. Cause that, and that's how they did it back then too, right? Yes, I mean, it was, yes. It was, uh, it, was, it was basically all painted on, they call these tin woodies. Uh-huh. Uh, because they got so expensive to ship them around to, uh, to have wood put on them. So they, they quit doing that and started painting it. On. Well, it never held up. I mean, it, all that well either. That's right. That's great. So, it looks great, man. Yeah, thank you. And, and I love, I mean, the interior is dynamite because you kept it, you know, you kept it 51 in the dash. Right. You didn't, but, but did those instruments come with it? No, the gauges are uh, like 49, 50, 51 Chevrolet pickup. That's but that, that the multi-gauge in a single pod came that way? That came that way, yeah. Because, man, that's, yeah. that's kind of a modern concept. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like the seats too, the, you know, Thank with your stitched in palm tree. Yes, yep, the... yep, yep, that was my wife's idea. Yeah. <laughs> and this was the, the, this setup here was what they did uh, back then. Yes. It really yes. had, what, three seats to begin with, Yes, right? that's correct. But you, you took the back seat out so you could carry. That's right. Your picnic basket. Yes, but uh, it was made where the, the seat had uh, uh, little turn screws that you could take it in and out real easily. So I just left it out. Yeah, well actually, I, I think a lot of people threw away that, that middle seat. They, they moved the, the full seat up, and, and I bet that was kind of hard to find. Yeah, well, luckily, it was with the car when I oh, got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at so, look man, look at yes. man. So I lucked out there. So you've, you've street rotted it. I'm, I'm assuming you're running like a 350 Chevy. That's correct. Yeah, 350, 350. 350, 350. Yeah. Let's go look at that baby. Sure. There she is. And you know, and that fits so nice in there. Did it just drop in? Pretty much, pretty much is easy, a real easy fit. Put a uh, Mustang front end under it, and it just uh, easy, easy bolt in. So, is, did it come out of anything, or no? It's a crate motor. Oh, it's, it's new. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the way to go. That's the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Warranty and all. You that's know. that's right. That's Man. the only way to fly. So, I mean, do you drive it much, or is you? Uh, I drive it quite a bit. I'm glad that you do drive it. Now, have you been to this show before? The this is my first, first time push here. Rods? First, first time I've been here, yeah. It wasn't easy to find. No. There's only one road in and one, and one road, road out. out. That's exactly right. That's 51 exactly 51 Chevy Deluxe wagon. That is a nice ride. Here. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay, I've been to shows that weren't quite this wet, but I've never been to one that was any more enthusiastic than this. The Carolina push rods put on a heck of a show here in Poplar. Run for the hills, Poplar, North Carolina. Even in the rain, it's a blast. Burn them out.